What are you staring for? Do all Danon fighters look like you? What, this getup? I pulled this number together from scrap and parts I salvaged throughout the years. Though now I'm feeling self-conscious, seeing how put together you seem to be. Oh, oh no, I was just curious. Did you fortify your right side more because that's your dominant side? Partly, but mostly because my body's a little worse for wear after all these years fighting. That makes sense. So you take extra care to protect your dominant side with more armor. Smart. Is fighting all you think about? This is great. The taste and aroma will blow everyone away. Well, off we go. Here too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. Take it we're heading through here, then? Everything all right, Zephyr? Yeah, it's nothing. What is that? A ring? It was my wife's. Your wife? You never mention anything about being married. That surprising? You said was. So then, is she gone? Was it the Renans? No, she was sick. I couldn't get her the medicine she needed, and then she was gone. 
I'd always wanted to show her the world as it could be. I'm sorry. Don't be. There are plenty of people out there more deserving of your sympathy than me. But... but... Uh... Let's go. Imagine there were Zoogles out there that could pretend to be statues. That's because Zoogles don't come from nature. Who knows what else is lurking out there? What is this place anyway? What's with these columns and steps? No idea. I've never been here before either. Rena's convoy squads probably used it in the past. I guess it's definitely seen better days. You wouldn't know anything, would you, Xion? Nope. And I'm not interested in learning, either. <sighs> Actually, these are Danon ruins. See? You can tell by the way the columns are decorated and stuff. They're all old Danon designs. Are you saying these things were built more than 300 years ago, then? Yeah. I have no idea what they were used for, though. It's amazing to think our ancestors were capable of making such structures. Hopefully there'll come a time when us Danans will be able to walk through here freely again. That's exactly what you're fighting for, isn't it? Let's keep moving. Yeah. Right. It's freezing in here, and after how hot it was outside, too. It must be the cold air sweeping in from Cislodia. It's the polar opposite of Calaglia, so I'd get used to it if I were you. Is the little guy okay? Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Cislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. Rinwell, how about filling them in on what to expect from Cislodia? Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Well, for starters, nobody trusts nobody. Come again? Just like I said, you never know when snake eyes are watching you. That's what they call their lord's henchmen, apparently. Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere. 
observing us at all times. So? Renin surveillance was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renin's. They've got Danon spying on each other, too. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small-time informants. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Of course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. <clears throat> That's why the world needs people like us. Almost too easy. <laughs> <laughs> 